beings for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. A rocket fired from the Gaza Strip has landed in southern Israel, setting off rocket alert sirens throughout the region. At around 10.20 a.m., the projectile hit a street in the Israeli town of Sterot, but luckily there have been no reports of injuries or damage to property. Police sappers have been called to the scene of the attack, and the area has now been closed off to pedestrians and traffic. Rocket launches from Gaza are very frequent and are often carried out by small terrorist fringe groups without Hamas's approval. Yet Israel holds Hamas responsible for any attacks coming from the Gaza Strip and typically responds to such attacks with airstrikes in the Palestinian enclave. Just last month, another mortar shell from the Strip landed in southern Israel but didn't cause any damage. Last night, the American vice presidential nominees duked it out during the only debate of their campaigns. And Israel was a topic of contention, or rather Israel's view on world matters. Republican nominee Mike Pence is arguing that the Iran nuclear deal that the Democrats are in support of is a recipe for disaster because it guarantees that Iran will someday become a nuclear power. Yet Democratic nominee Tim Kaine says that Pence is wrong and that Israel would back him up on that. The Virginia senator claims that the IDF chief of staff Gadi Eisenkot agrees that the deal stopped Iran's program. In January, Eisenkot said the Iran nuclear deal is a historic turning point in the direction Iran was headed, but stopped short of endorsing the deal. It looks like 15 female activists will attempt to breach Israel's blockade of the Gaza Strip today in a bid to protest Israeli control of the area. The women will try to dock in the Gaza Strip aboard the Zaytuna Oliva boat, but Israeli officials are already saying they plan to intercept the ship. Israel claims its naval blockade of Gaza is aimed at preventing Hamas from receiving supplies that could be used against the Jewish state. But the female activists are part of a flotilla coalition that believes the blockade is a violation of human rights. The Freedom Flotilla Coalition consists of pro-Palestinian boats that regularly travel to Gaza from all over the world to try to break the blockade. The Zaytuna Oliva is already expected to be 100 nautical miles offshore. Tens of thousands of travelers are expected to be affected by massive flight delays today. As the Jewish New Year comes to an end, Israel's Ben Gurion Airport is expected to experience one of its busiest travel days in history. An Air Force drill will be restricting a number of runways for commercial airplane use. 450 flights are scheduled to take off from Ben Gurion, and the heavier than usual holiday traffic after Rosh Hashanah is expected to delay those flights. The Israeli International Airport is bracing for the arrival and departure of around 77,000 passengers, just slightly less than its all time record of 78,900 in 2015. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.